The Delta variant is now in all 50 states. South Dakota is the latest and it reported a case Tuesday. Health experts are concerned the variant will continue to spread in areas with low vaccination rates. Now, there is some good news in the battle against the Delta variant. Johnson & Johnson says a preliminary study shows its vaccine likely offers good protection against that new strain. ABC's Marcus Moore has more now on those new developments. Pharmaceutical giant Johnson & Johnson saying new data suggests its single-dose vaccine stands up well to COVID-19 variants, including the hypertransmissible Delta variant. We showed that the durability of the single-shot J&J vaccine is remarkably good. It lasts for at least eight months and probably much longer. This as the threat looms of a post-4th of July surge. With vaccines available across the country, the suffering and loss we are now seeing is nearly entirely avoidable. Health experts predict the Delta variant will become the country's dominant strain, now behind about one in four new cases. The White House now forming surge response teams to deploy where the Delta variant presents the most risk to unvaccinated Americans. Medical centers in Utah seeing an uptick too. Nearly 260 people currently hospitalized with COVID, the highest number since February. The governor there with this somber plea. 95% of you don't have to die and 95% of you don't have to be uh, hospitalized and go through that incredible pain. For Texas area hospitals, the focus on young children and adults who have not been vaccinated. The real dichotomy right now that we're seeing is the difference between uh, patients who are vaccinated and then for children who are under the age of 12 who cannot be vaccinated, that they may be at particular risk. It is important to note the Johnson & Johnson news is based on preliminary data and has not yet been peer reviewed. We expect new vaccination numbers from both our states today. Kansas reported Wednesday that healthcare workers have given out more than 2.3 million vaccine doses. Just over 44% of Kansas have received at least one shot. Nearly 39% of Kansans are fully vaccinated. In Missouri, the state is closing in on 5 million administered doses. 44.5% of Missourians have started the process. 39% are fully vaccinated. Several people in Independence got the vaccine right before watching a movie. The city held a vaccine clinic in the same place as last night's Moonlight movie on the square. Both the Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson vaccines were offered. No appointment was needed. We've had a lot of families who have said, you know, we, we want to get a vaccine, but the clinics tend to be open during the day. So when we uh, proposed uh, having an evening clinic just to see what that was like, got a lot of positive comments. The event was a partnership with the Jackson County Health Department. If you're looking for a place to get a vaccine, we can help. Just head to KMBC.com and click on the coronavirus tab.